Hey, how's it going? Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome, welcome to our market update. Before we get started, maybe a little housekeeping. Keep in mind that everything you're seeing here in all of our other videos or on our website is for educational purposes only and does not constitute financial or investing advice. You should always consult a registered financial professional before considering any investing in anything you see in these videos, other videos, my videos, on our website, or anywhere else on the internet. Use common sense. Is that good? <laughs> you think that'll work for them? Oh man, this industry is highly regulated. You gotta be very careful what you say. Now that we got the fun stuff out of the way, let's talk about the boring stuff, the markets, huh? The markets were lower today. So it turns out the markets can go down uh, just a little bit though. Here's what happened. The markets started the day lower and then the banking stocks kicked in, tried to pull the markets higher were unsuccessful though. They came very, very close. We did turn positive briefly for the day, but the markets ultimately finished lower. The Dow by only 14 points, big deal. The S&P lost three, not a big deal there either. And the NASDAQ was off by 10. It'd be great if the markets just pulled back a little bit. I don't think anybody would be concerned at all. Let's talk about some stocks that are affecting your retirement portfolios today. The first up is in the airline sector. The symbol is UAL, that's United Airlines United Airlines and American Airlines had a great day today. This is really interesting. Um, you can see on the chart there, the green blip right over here that I'm pointing at, that is today's move. This is exactly what United has done since about November. Here's the deal. United tracks the, uh, United and, Airline, uh, and American came out and they said that their uh, revenue is gonna be higher uh, compared to this time last year. Now, this is what was interesting. The, let me get the right wording here. They said, American Airlines said that their revenue per seat per mile flown will be up 5.5 to 6% compared to this time last year. So their revenue per seat per mile flown up 5 to 6%. That's incredible that they track that. They know how much they're making per seat for every mile that they fly. That's what makes an efficient business right there. So I think investors looked at that and said, wow, you're seeing an increase that was 2% more than anybody was expecting and oil prices are going up. Here's a look at oil. Let's pull that up on the screen. I don't know if you've seen the price of oil yet. This is the actual oil futures market, the direct spot oil, the way we track oil right here. Um, incredible. It's just been on an incredible run yet uh, so far, but uh, American Airlines, United Airlines, they were up 6.7% today. The United Airlines, 6.7, American, 3.2%. Airlines strong despite the strong oil because revenue per seat per mile flown, <laughs> there we go, is much better than expected. Let's move on. Discovery Communications. These guys own uh, Nat Geo. Uh, of course, they own the Discovery Network. They have decided that they are going to move their headquarters to New York City. Now, I bet you there's a little more to this story, but basically what they said was the, the CEO said, we wanna be closer to our advertisers. Most of our advertisers are in New York City. And so we're picking up our headquarters. They're actually gonna sell their building in Maryland. They're gonna move it to New York City, probably rent something. And investors look at that and said, uh, yeah, I bet you it's because you're saving a little bit of money. So the stock price was up by 5.5% today. Not bad. That I believe was your best performer in the S&P 500. So if you have discovery or have any exposure to the S&P 500, chances are you saw a little blip up tick from that. Let's move on to Kohl's. We've been talking about Kohl's a couple times here lately. They've been in the news. This is kind of interesting. Stock was up 3.2% today, and I'm going to call this a Hail Mary move by Kohl's. I don't know if you have a Kohl's by you. These are, this is the retail store Kohl's. Um, basically what they're doing is they're saying, they, they take about 300 of their stores and you know how they have a big store, right? And they got a, a big footprint when you walk in the door. What they're doing is they're kind of condensing everything and bringing it in tighter and making their store smaller, hopefully more efficient. The problem is all that space around the back is just empty space. Abercrombie and Fitch tried it for a while. Um, no, Aeropostale tried it for a while and I think they found some luck with it. Here's the thing. Kohl's stores are so large that when they condense it, they've got still this massive space. They've got to heat it. They've got to cool it. So what they decided to do was throw, throw it out there to uh, you know Wall Street and say, you know, we're thinking about partnering with some grocers or convenience stores to fill up that extra space. So essentially what they said is we want to be more like Target. We want to be more like Walmart where you'll have your normal you know, clothes and your Keurig stuff, but you're also going to be able to go around the outside and buy your apples and your you know, Captain Crunch and all that stuff. So um, 
kind of a Hail Mary, right? I don't know that the world needs another Target or Walmart or even Sam's Club or anything like that. Obviously, it doesn't fit into that category, but they're taking a shot. Investors think that they'll be able to execute that, and therefore you have the stock up today uh, about 3%. Lastly, let's talk about Bitcoin. I'm only going to talk about it because of one specific thing. Bitcoin was down about 2.3% today. Not really anything crazy. What I actually like about Bitcoin, and again, this is not a recommendation. I don't even care about Bitcoin. I will not invest in it. I'm putting it out on the table. No client of mine is invested in it, and we will not be investing in it. But you notice how it's moving sideways there? Maybe my head's in the way, but you notice how it's moving sideways? That's starting to look like a more tamer Bitcoin. This wiggling back and forth 10, 20% a day, that's not sustainable. So it really seems like Bitcoin is slowing down, kind of coming into its own lately. I'm not saying it's a good investment, but what Warren Buffett is saying, and he said it today, was basically he's as bearish as you can be on uh, Bitcoin. He actually said, Bitcoin will almost certainly end in disaster. So the man himself, everybody that, every, that, that loves to follow him, he was on TV in his own words, said this will almost certainly end in disaster. And he took it a step further and he said if he had the opportunity, it's not an opportunity at the moment, but if it were an opportunity for him, he would be buying as many five-year puts on Bitcoin as he can. Now, if you don't know what puts are, it's an option, uh, an option contract betting on something, some underlying security to go down. So you buy a put, and if the price of whatever you're betting on goes down, you end up making a lot of money. So what he's essentially saying is he would be making a five-year bet that Bitcoin crashes and burns. Not his, not my words, those are his. Um, so he is very, very negative on Bitcoin. That's it. That's basically the markets for the day. That's what happened. Um, there's a lot of earnings coming up. Here's the deal. Tomorrow, uh, if it's not tonight, tomorrow starts earnings season where all the companies in the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, everybody, they're going to report their earnings. And little by little, we're going to be talking about this. You're going to see stocks make huge moves up or down. It's very normal. This happens once a quarter. It just starts tomorrow. So there should be more to talk about. It should be more exciting of a market. It usually causes more volatility in the markets, both good and bad. So we'll see what happens. Um, that's all I got for you today. We're going to do another video here shortly on exchange traded funds and their performance. Once a week, I'm going to update you on exchange traded funds in particular that are moving around good or bad and whatever's happening there. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in exchange traded funds. If by chance you're interested in exchange traded funds and you have a retirement account and you want someone to manage it for you or just someone to keep an eye on it, jazzwealth.com. Be sure to check us out. We're here for you. We're your advisor, I'm talking to you, right? I mean, everybody that's watching, we want to work with you. We have no minimums. We work with the beginners. We work with the billionaires. I don't work with billionaires. I don't actually have a billionaire as a client, but we work with millionaires and we work with the beginners as well. Everybody has to start somewhere. So if you need help with that or you want to start a retirement account, happy to help you figure out what's best for you. Mm, that's it. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below about anything we talked about. Let me know you're out there. Enjoy.